Hi all. Towards the end of last year, Leela managed to beat Stockfish in a TSEC bonus match by one point. I think the openings were quite short, which favoured Leela, and also the hardware was very, very good. The ratio wasn't too bad for Leela at all. Uh, now there's another bonus match played under more difficult conditions with much deeper openings. And here is one of those games Stockfish against Leela. Okay, let's have a look. The opening was actually deep into the Sicilian Dragon, so Stockfish playing white. Uh, this opening, a lot of players in over the board chess are fearful of playing the Sicilian Dragon because it's sometimes, if you don't know the theory, you can be hacked on the H file, basically. And uh, Stockfish goes for it with H4 here. This is all seen before, and now H5. This has all been seen before. Very theoretical. This is. The way to play it. Knight takes g4, knight f6, king b1. We have now Leela playing queen c8. This is a bit of a novelty move. Usually in this position, rook e8 is played. But white is um, thought to be better here with knight d5. For example, this position with queen h2 has been seen in over the board chess where. It, it's just very pleasant for white. This is this is an advantage for white. There's a backward deep pawn. It doesn't matter that black's not mated. There's other issues now. Uh, if we look at this position after rook e8, you might think well, bishop h6. There's actually knight takes e4 here as a tactical idea. Uh, so that's that's okay for black. That's quite nice for black. So anyway, queen c8 looks a little bit strange. And we have actually a very, very powerful reinforcement of c3, which avoids exchange sacrifices and reminds me of a famous Karpov against Cautionary game in the Sicilian Dragon. Because uh, this can really give white extra time for the attack without being worried uh, about the queen side demolition. Knight b3 has been seen before in this position, and there was a win, Sadikov against. Babazard in uh, 2007. That was a high level game. Uh, so, anyway, we see this retreat knight de2, rook e8. And now rook h4, this might actually be even more accurate than rook h2 to double rooks. It looks a bit fancy. On rook h2, black might be able to play bishop takes g4 with the fork. So, Stockfish is avoiding this possibility. Uh, there might be some play for black there, but still is, uh, an advantage for white technically. But rook h4 is the more precise way to play it, play it, it seems. Queen c6 and the rooks double. So yeah, black seems to have wasted a bit of time. In this variation, time is super critical. Rook c8, we have bishop g5 actually. Not bishop h6, but bishop g5. So the idea is to like take and then crash through a rook takes h7. Queen c5 is played. On h5 here, now bishop h6 is a good idea. For example, like this. And white crashes through with a mating attack, basically. For example, like that. So, but bishop g5 first. <clears throat> with the idea of taking an rook h7 and to provoke h5. But Lula plays queen c5. Now we have bishop takes f6. Bishop takes and white takes that h7 pawn. And now Lula plays g5. You might think this is weird. The problem is, for example, bishop takes c3. There's just queen h6 here with the big idea of rook h8 mating. It's just mating. So here there's mate. <laughs> there's there's nothing black can do. Black's just getting mated there. So g5 is against queen h6. We have knight d5, which appears to give up the c2 pawn. It does. But there's a very, very powerful tactical idea now available to Stockfish. I wonder if you can spot it if I give you five seconds to pause the video. So what would you play here with white? Okay. It's e5. It's a pretty crushing move. It addresses, for example, rook takes b2 check. 
if the bishop leaves g5 then queen g5 uh this leaves black in a lost state basically it's it's an absolutely lost position here after e5 if rook takes d2 then knight takes f6 jack and then uh, so here uh, there's not too many choices for black uh, there's things like knight takes d7 check on king f8 uh, so we have uh, e takes in this variation and here it's actually a forced checkmate with e takes f6 so quite a beautiful line there on rook takes d2 yeah <laughs> So yeah, all very well calculated. So let's have a check on this again. So the checks, then bringing the king back to g7 where this is a, a lethal checkmate. And another variation, d takes e5, white just plays knight takes, and queen takes d7, believe it or not. This this is a big advantage. On bishop takes, that leaves g5, and then rook h8 is mating. So all of these lines are losing after e5 everything loses it seems and rook takes b2 check has been addressed so pretty neat tactical move indeed it leaves Lila with very little to do rook takes b2 check it seems it's desperate queen takes bishop takes e5 we have here rook h8 check and now if bishop takes then clearly rook takes or queen takes is, is checkmate uh, so king g7 the rook this one goes to h7 king g6 and the game was ended here all white needs to do is actually just protect d5 for example queen b3 which introduces also queen d3 as well as protecting d5 so for example e6 check taking and putting the queen back is good and if black's best is this <laughs> then it's not good yeah it's uh yeah, end of game basically so a bit of a massacre but it is a dodgy uh, variation to start off with it will be interesting if later evolutions of Leela so this was 32 329 can actually cope with these deep start positions to sort of act as a kind of theoretical reference almost because the Sicilian dragon has been analyzed really deeply and it's absolutely critical if you're playing the Sicilian dragon to know the theory so it's interesting if Lila can actually recreate the critical theory which avoids these tactical disasters but at the moment yeah with this id it seems queen c8 looks to be almost losing by force from the evidence of this game so i'll, I'll show a mixture of leader and stockfish wins because it's interesting con to contrast the up and down sides of, of both approaches to chess and intuitively i suspect that uh, in the more tactical opening stockfish will do exactly what it did to Alpha Zero in, on occasion to absolutely mashed Alpha Zero even you know an older version of Stockfish because in a tactically um, uh, intensive opening like the Sicilian Dragon time is of the essence and um, to get absolutely perfect tactical moves is important okay if you enjoyed this game video then uh, please click on the top left box which should appear shortly to become a member at chessmode.net play against other YouTubers uh, you can also check the YouTube analysis and advancement of these games from the improved menu learn from the masters YouTube order button comments questions donations see the description like share subscribe with no notification bell really appreciated and check out the new Teespring store in the description there's a new Kings Crusher t-shirt be one of the first to get it a, a king being crushed <laughs> a couple of kings being crushed okay thanks very much